I, Abraham Lincoln, President of the United States, proclaim and declare that the government of the United States had no knowledge, information, or belief of an intention on the part of General Hunter to issue such a proclamation. Uh, the leadership that Secretary General Solana has shown in uh, negotiating this NATO uh, Russia uh, founding act, uh, we are excited about the partnership. Uh, it is consistent with what we believe uh, NATO should be doing. It is consistent with our plans uh, to expand NATO, and I think the Secretary General has uh, done a marvelous job, and I'm looking forward to having this chance to talk with him about uh, our meeting, uh, I guess, a week from today in Paris to celebrate the uh, NATO-Russia partnership and then, of course, the Madrid summit uh, this summer. We're well, thank you very much. It's impressive with your kind words. But uh, what you did is the important thing. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. In contrast, Russian elections are rigged. Political opponents are imprisoned or otherwise eliminated from participating in the electoral process. The result is an absence of checks and balances in Russia and the decision of one man to launch a wholly unjustified and brutal invasion of Iraq. I mean, of Ukraine. <laughs> Iraq, too. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> 75. Uh, <laughs> Welcome to the State Department. I am delighted to be here uh, to welcome the President, as well as our colleagues from the Diplomatic Corps, uh, Senator Kerry and uh, senior officials from across our government, and especially the many young Foreign Service and civil servants who are here today. So it is with great confidence and faith in our future that I welcome the President of the United States, Barack Obama. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please have a seat. Thank you very much. I want to begin by thanking Hillary Clinton, who has traveled so much these last six months that she is approaching a new landmark, one million frequent flyer miles. I count on Hillary every single day, and I believe that she will go down as one of the finest secretaries of state in our nation's history. Now, the State Department is a fitting venue to mark a new chapter in American diplomacy. For six months, we have witnessed extraordinary change taking place in the Middle East and North Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. So welcome to our cabinet meeting, and every member of my cabinet is working tirelessly to defeat the invisible enemy that should have never happened to our country, should have never happened to the world. It's a disgrace. Could have been stopped at the source, but they decided not to do that. But we're going to safely reopen our country and our economy, and it's happening very rapidly. Vaccines are moving quickly into phase one and phase two trials and trials of dozens of therapies and cures are underway, and we're making tremendous strides with therapies, cures, and vaccines. I think we're way ahead of schedule, and you probably heard logistically, we have our military engaged, and as soon as we have whatever it is that we're going to have, whether it's therapeutic or vaccine, uh, it will be distributed very rapidly. Our military is ready to go. They can deploy hundreds of thousands of men and women a day. And now what they're going to be doing is they're going to be doing the vaccine, which we are geared up for even before we have it. But the chances of us having it are extraordinary. Secretary Azar will update us on all that we're doing to safeguard Americans. We'll be talking in a second. To protect our people and defeat the virus, we must also... Do